So in this tutorial, we want to create a 3D bolt. So let's start. So we are in 3D modeling already. So at first we will create a polygon. Suppose we want to create a bolt of M24. That means we will have to create a polygon of 48 dim uh, dimension. That is face to face distance is 48. So we will say number of sides of 6. Then center of polygon. And uh, we will take circumscribe because it is a face to face distance. And the radius is 24. So just double click the roller. So I don't want this icon in between. So I will see use this icon, no region, N, enter. So polygon is ready. So I have, now I will extrude it, extrude the polygon. So before that I will switch to southeast isometric. Now I will extrude this polygon by 24 right. So extrude, select polygon, enter, give the height, give the direction and give the height, 24 height I want to give. So this polygon is ready. Now I have to create a triangle here, revolve it and cut it to give the top radius to it. So to create that triangle, I have to align my UCS to this uh, this plane here inside. So I will uh, go to view. And I will see UCS and give the 3P option, 3 point. Then he's asking new origin point. So I will say here. I want x direction to be in this direction and y in this direction. So my x, y, z is aligned as per that. So I will here now create a polygon using, uh, create a triangle using polyline. So I will go back to home Then I will take polyline. I will create one line here of some distance. Suppose I will take that distance as 5. Then I will create one more vertical line here of suppose 3 distance then I will connect it to this end point ok so this triangle is ready so these two lines are different so I will connect it using p edit command p select polyline polyline edit and join select enter and escape so this triangle is ready for revolution. So I want to revolve around the center of this hexagon. So I will just create one line there for reference so that I will be able to revolve it easily. So you just connect the front front points by a line command so that I can locate the points center point to locate the center point. So I will create one vertical line from here to here. Then I will erase these lines. I don't want these lines. So this line is there. So I want to revolve this triangle around this line. So I will say extrude. Click on extrude. Select revolved. Then select object to revolve is this triangle. Enter. Then around which axis? End point of this and the end point of this line to end points are in 360 degrees so this top ring is created I will just see it in conceptual visual style so how it look like so this top ring is ready so I have to subtract now this top ring from the hexagonal block so I will just say subtract subtract so select object from which to be subtracted hexagonal block enter what is to be subtracted this ring then press enter so this shape we have got here the nut shape so next step is to create a shaft so we will go back to view and shift our uses to top and we will create a circle here of our circle uh, m24 that means 12 radius so this circle is ready so we will just press pull or extrude we can press pull or extrude both way it is possible so we will go to home and we will just press pull this inner circle ok we have to click on the circle actually we will just say press pull 
go inside the circle click and give the height so you can define the height as per your requirement whatever height you want suppose we want a height of 75 or suppose 100 we will take it so this 100 is defined here so next step will be to create a threadings so we want to create a threading also so for that we will create a helix and then later on we will cut it down so helix so center point is bottom center for helix so helix to be created on the okay we are already in top plane then radius radius is bottom radius is 12 20 it is m24 that is 12 radius top radius is 12 then height so we will define a height of suppose 50 so this helix is uh, defined but it is it have very large gap so we will just double click it so we will just go back to 2D wireframe so that we can easily select it just double click on the helix and control the parameters here so height number of turns how much you want suppose I want uh, so before that turn height turn height we will define so I want a turn height of suppose 3 mm a pitch of 3 mm we will consider then turn height 3 base radius top radius turns number of turns we have to define suppose I want to define a turns of 20 okay then again turn height I will make it to 3 so in this way 60 height helix is created I will close this escape so this we can view this in conceptual visual style so these serrations like are created we want to basically cut it so we will be suppose creating a square thread so we will just create a rectangle here rectangle or square so just create a rectangle it's here uh, we will take the dimension suppose dimension we want it to be of 3 by 3 3 by 3 click so this square is created here so this square is here so we'll just move it nearer nearer to our bolt so that we can do the work properly okay we'll just pan it zoom now we want to cut this square threads so we'll just say sweep select this square I think it will be a larger size we will just uh, reduce it down to half scale scale it to 0.5 so that it will become of 1.5 by 1.5 0.5 okay now we will sweep it sweep this uh, square enter the path is this line helix helix line just click on that so it is it has created helix like this okay so this is like a external thread so we just want we will just subtract this so that we will create a serration on the bolt shaft so we will say subtract so I want to subtract from this bolt shaft enter what I want to subtract this helical sweep enter so here you can see that the helical the square threads has been created here in 3d so in this way the square threads is threads are created in 3d then we are suppose okay before we have was have to give the chamfer then we can give your chamfer also to this line so for that we will use the chamfer tool so we will say chamfer we will give a chamfer distance d is the shortcut 
so 3 by 3 chamfer we will give on this edge bottom edge so we will zoom it or we will just make it 2d wireframe so that selection will become very simple okay so this bottom edge we want to chamfer so we will say chamfer we already set the distance so we will just select this edge then enter then 3 by 3 select the bottom edge enter so the chamfer is created we will just see it in 3d wireframe uh, conceptual visual style so in this way we will just erase this sweep uh, helix so that it can be viewed properly so in this way our 3d bolt is ready with threading and chamfer at the bottom so in this way you can make bolt in autocad thanks for joining we will stop here thanks